We have this awesome little community kind of building up over time around Big Boy Games and Starground, and it's just super awesome to see that. I never would have really imagined how many people would be interested in the stuff I'm doing. One of the coolest things I've seen just about this community so far is just all of the amazing stuff everyone's making. You know, on this channel, we're always going on about Starground, 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 Starground. It's getting old. So I want to spend some time to do something just a little bit different, kind of to take a step away from Starground and appreciate some really other awesome projects that deserve some attention. We opened up project submissions over on the Discord about two weeks ago now, and we had some really cool stuff come in. Spent some time to look through these submissions, play the ones that are either programs or games, and everyone's just put so much work into these awesome projects, so I just want to spend some time and appreciate them in any way I can. We also had the community vote on their favorite projects, so we will be crowning the community voted winner today on the video. Starting off with some really cool art, we have two posts from Goose Games. Uh, the first one we have on screen here right now are some pixel art golems that they worked on. Yeah, these look pretty sick. Definitely could be some nice assets for a game. Some solid color palettes. Looking good. They also had another one they also worked on, uh, which is this robot guy. So this is really cool. This is actually made for the Boss Rush Game Jam for 2024. So that's really cool to see some Game Jam stuff. Game Jams are fun. This reminds me of that like funny robot guy from The Incredibles. You know, you know the one I'm talking about. Like, you know. Anyways. Moving on. One really interesting game that was submitted uh, was Auto Monster Chess, which is a work in progress title uh, by Aoro. So this game is looking really cool. Uh, it's already got a ton of mechanics really fleshed out. It's essentially a combo of auto chess and uh, creature collecting. So you can go around the world and kind of collect creatures and then have them battle on a chess-like grid. Looks like a ton of really cool stuff is also already in the game. I mean, the whole world you can explore, NPCs, environments. Um, and this is actually all made in Godot, which uh, is really cool to see. A fellow uh, Godotian or, uh, you know, gods, as I, as I like to call them. Yeah, and there's a full list of everything that's in the game right here. Um, yeah, really cool to see. Definitely keep it up. And it looks like it could be a really fun game. Bowsernator was also another member that submitted a project. And this one is a, a 3D sand simulator kind of sandbox type of thing. And this one's super cool. <laughs> this reminds me of like uh, some of those other kinds of sand simulator games. Like uh, I think like Noita or the Sandbox, you know, that one mobile game from a million years ago. But the big difference here with this one is that it's 3D. <laughs> Which, um... It's just a super impressive thing to tackle. This is also done in C. Again, another insane thing to tackle. You know, I've done like a little bit of C, but just to do anything like this, just to wrap my head around that. I mean, graphics renderings, UI, um, and make it run and not be super slow. <laughs> that's just, that's insane. I did spend a lot of time trying to get this one to compile on my computer, but unfortunately I have lost this battle. Luckily, they did submit a bunch of videos of the project, though, so we can still check it out. Yeah, this one's super awesome, though. I mean, just incredible what you can actually do uh, with something like C. Definitely keep working away at this one. It's already insanely cool, um, and I can't imagine how awesome it would be, if, you know, if you, like, release this on Steam or, you know, just anywhere. It's somewhere that people can actually kind of mess around with it. And <laughs> modding support, imagine that, that would be insane. <laughs> Anyways, it's also really interesting to see that a lot of these submissions were actually like tools or programs, you know, like the Sand Simulator. Um, and not just strictly games and art, since that's kind of what I expected. Bobby, or Bobby, I guess, submitted one really awesome tool, which is a song making tool. It's kind of like having FL Studio or some other kind of DAW, but in your browser. <laughs> and if that wasn't cool enough, it's also made entirely in Scratch. Yeah, that's pretty insane. I've messed around with all sorts of different programming languages and engines and stuff, but I have no idea how you would ever go about making something like this in Scratch. So that was just super insane to see. Bobby also submitted another project, also made in Scratch. This one is actually a game engine tool with its own scripting language. I've used a lot of engines, but uh, making one is kind of next level. <laughs> I mean, making games are hard enough. I can't really imagine making an entire game engine and a whole programming language to go along with it. I mean, that's crazy. And in Scratch. Super cool projects, Bobby. Um, definitely keep working away at them. 
and I can't wait to see uh, how they eventually shape up. And lastly, but most certainly not least, we have our winner of the project showcase. Pinhu or Pin, probably Pinhu. I think it's pronounced Pin. So this project is a non-Euclidean raycaster, all made entirely in Python. And I tried this one out for a while. It's super cool stuff. I mean, not only did he create an entire raycaster from scratch, in Python, having worked through graphics renderings and all the other program logic, but he also added non-Euclidean geometry, which is just another little insane cherry on top of this already really cool project. 3D stuff is already hard enough as it is, but doing all the rendering yourself is just insane to me. <laughs> yeah, so cool to see something like this in the projects. I mean, just really kind of inspires me to work on some more 3D stuff. It's so cool to see what you can really do with that. Um, and as the community voted winner, Pinhu will receive a full Starground release key. So when we eventually move into early access with Starground, Pinhu will have the full game without having to buy it. So round of applause. Yeah, congratulations, Pinhu. Uh, thank you so much for submitting the project. Um, and I can't wait to see either this project get fleshed out or whatever and same things you work on next. Yeah, that's all for the submissions. It was just so fun to look through all these different projects and uh, I'm uh, really proud of the community for all the awesome work that you put into this stuff. I wanna give a massive thanks to everybody that submitted a project, um, regardless of how many votes it got or what people thought. I think all of your projects were super impressive. So I encourage you all to keep working on them or you know, start up different new fun projects you wanna get around to, whatever you'd like. I think it's such a really great thing to work on projects like these. I mean, we as humans have this incredible ability that other animals don't have, which is generating these concepts and ideas and things out of just thin air, which is just so cool. <laughs> so keep it up, keep making stuff, and keep being epic. Yeah, thank you so much for checking out the community projects. Uh, hopefully we can do another video like this in the future. Um, that'd be pretty cool. So subscribe. Stay tuned for that eventually. Um, be sure to check out the streams on Twitch, where I'm working on Starground, and wishlist Starground on Steam. Massive thanks to Ben Newman, our loyal Kofi subscriber, for all this time. I really appreciate you.